be a giver. And the verse I'm reading is from Roman, Romans chapter 6, verse 23. The free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. When it comes to giving gifts, we sometimes tie ourselves in knots. We know it's the thought that counts, but somehow we can end up worrying about how much we can afford to spend at Christmas on birthdays and other occasions. The gift of Jesus was the greatest gift of all, but it was also given in the humblest circumstances. A baby born in the poorest conditions went on to care for the outcast and the downtrodden and to bring life to the world. Why not make a list of gifts to give to people who might not expect them? They need not cost anything but time. Contact a forgotten friend. Spend time with someone lonely. Offer to babysit for a weary parent. Invite a neighbour in for coffee. Giving one of these gifts will do as much for you as for the recipient. And so we pray. Thank you, Lord, for the great gift you have given us, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. So Fiona, what is the best gift you've ever been given? Oh my goodness, I haven't a clue, I can't remember. <laughs> That's a tricky one, isn't it? It is a hard one, yes. We've done something in our family uh, over the last years mm -hmm. that we we don't give presents to each other. Okay. Um, but for a long time we gave silly presents to each other. Oh yeah. We, we would spend a fiver mm -hmm. on whatever we could to give and we put a great big um, pa a bag and yeah. filled it with rubbish, you know, yeah. terrible thing. But it was such a laugh. And I think everybody enjoyed that more than an important present. That sounds a brilliant idea. I suppose in some ways it's the it's the it's the, the gimmick of it just being a fiver and takes that stress off. But I think you said that it was such a laugh and I think that's part of it, isn't it? It actually brings fun, laughter, yeah. which is um really a really nice special well, thing. Well my family all decided that, that the they didn't need presents, uh -huh. but they've all got a good sense of humour and yeah. they're very creative. So yeah. some of the presents were crazy. Come on then, tell us, <laughs> tell us more. <laughs> well, a, a lot of things came from charity shops and other things. Can, can you get? Can you can you tell us just one of those silly things? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> but you can remember the laugh. Yes, I can remember oh, the laughs. That's really good. That, no, it is. It is the thought, isn't it? Absolutely. It is. yeah. I remember um, for one Christmas when I was a teenager, I ended up uh, living in um, West Africa with my parents. And um, it was a very, it's a Christmas that I think back to because um, we, were in, we were in right out in the sticks. There were no shops, there was nothing. And so my expectation uh, for Christmas was very, very little. And uh, they'd managed to... Um, bring something small with them from the UK and I remember it was it was a, I was a teenager and I was thrilled with colouring pencils wow yes you can't believe that can you uh, colouring pencils and then um one of the national um dresses you know oh lovely oh yeah was it, remember the you know the tie-dye kind of thing yeah still remember it now and and the other thing that was interesting about that Christmas was not the hustle and bustle but the space and the time and mm. being with each other. That's so much more important, mm. isn't it? It is, yes. it is. So it, it isn't all this stuff, is it, sometimes? Yeah. I love that idea of your families. So tell us how to do it again. You, you spend a fiver. Yes. Yeah. And you take a name out of somebody's, uh, out of a hat. Yeah, yeah. So you just do it for one person. Yeah, yeah. And you're gradually going round <laughs> each one. Yeah. Finding these ridiculous things that are, and and they're all a lot of laughs. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's much more fun mm -hmm. than buying a present for somebody who thinks, oh, what shall I do with this? Well, I have to pretend I like it. So, you know, yeah, that's a tricky one. Not isn't sure it? whether mm. they want it or mm. not. We didn't do it that for grandchildren, for no. the young ones. Mm -hmm. They had proper presents. If yeah, you like. yeah, 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 yeah. That's a really good idea. I remember um, someone I know who got bath salts. But they haven't got a bath. <laughs> Love that. You know, we try, don't we? We we try, but it's just we have got so much, haven't we? Yes, that's 
That's right. So, yeah. So some of the ideas you said there were to contact a friend, maybe do something like that. Yeah, spend time with somebody, make yeah. an effort to yeah. be with somebody yeah. who's lonely or something like that. Yeah. Um, those are, are lovely gifts and they're, yeah. they're, they're not just Christmas gifts. No, they're no. something that can happen all the year round, which yeah. is far more important. It's a, it's, it's a characteristic, isn't it, to be a giver? Mm. And actually sometimes our time is far more valuable than finance. Very much so. Yeah. So all year round, thinking about how we can be a giver. That's right. A constant gift. That's brilliant. Oh, thank you, Fiona. That's great. So, Lord, would you help us, whatever day of the year it is, to think about what we can do and how we can give to others? That's not always about finance or commercialism, but actually just that pausing and thinking. Thank you that you gave everything for us. And it's through what you've done for us that enables us to share our lives with other people. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.